I noticed the sign at the entrance. It's a music school, right? That's right, yes. Oh, really? Branch House Music School. Oh, I'm Menon Dwork. I'm the director. Oh, I'm Julia. Hi, Julia. Nice, nice to meet you. Same here. Can you show me around? Sure, yes. Here's one of our rehearsal studios right here. I can also show you, besides just music, also use this as a gallery space. This is a local New York artist named Dan Bean, and his work has been up since November. We also have dance classes, we have readings, mm -hmm. anything basically where someone needs a stage and they can present to the public. And how old is this school? Uh, more than 100 years. It used to be just somebody's house, but they bought this house and it was originally for, you know, at that time the village was filled with very poor people. So this settlement house was specifically made for young families who were just starting out, many from Italy or Ireland, who wanted music lessons for their children. So the community supported the school and they got very cheap, affordable lessons and we've been doing the same thing ever since. Anybody famous has ever graduated from Well, um, Bobby Lopez, who wrote Avenue Q in the Book of Mormon, wrote Avenue Q in the building. So we've had students like him over the years where people were just kind of hot doing hobbies, turned out to be very talented and went on and, and did great things outside. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. The school even has a nice garden where students practice sometimes or just chill out after strenuous music lessons. It was founded by this woman, Mary Simkovich, in 1902. And from this, I mean, we had a drug treatment program, we have a child abuse prevention program, we have a pottery school, we have a, all these different things. They all grew out of the nature of what was going on in the village. So This cherry tree over here loses all of its petals in this whole backyard is covered in pink snow. Mm -hmm. It's really something to see in that time of the year. 